Hello, hello. Welcome to Big O Blog today. And today I want to present you with a clean bill of health. This is four years in a row. I have such a magnificent bill of health. Now, this is my annual, I can't see the details, this is my annual report, my annual physical. It's, uh, it's, two pages, it's two pages long, back side and front side. And this is my appointment for six months checkup. I do check up six months. So, now, before I get into my actual results of my physical, see here? Four years ago, I would say 10 years ago, started having some issues. Nothing major, just cloudy eyes, joint pains, acid reflux, dizziness, you know, just weakness, stuff. You're not really sick, but you're not feeling good. You're not feeling right. So you're going to a doctor often, and doctor, I'm not feeling good, I'm not feeling. So I'll take my annual, and my blood sugar was like in the 140s, fasting blood sugar in the 140s. My pressure is 159 over some one some 116 or some big number, you know, and then I have acid reflux. And you know, and then all the joint pains. I would I would take a I took a corazon shot in my shoulder, right? Both shoulders. And I would constantly go and take those things. And the doctor would tell me, he said, look, you need to take better care of yourself. I mean, you're okay, but your pressure too high, your sugar too high. You know, you shouldn't be having, you'll have to take this as reflux pills for the rest of your life and they weaken your bones. Do something about it, you know? And if you give me this list of food I can eat, you know, this glycemic index, every time, every year you give me one, I'll look at it, I'll start, then I'll miss the taste of my food, and I will go back eating it, and uh, because I wasn't really sick to fall down or to be in bed, so I'll go back every six months. And every time I go back, it's the same story. I mean, my doc was just having a rough time together because I just couldn't keep up with it. So this is what my medicine looked like during that time. This is what I took during that time. And it would give me this medicine because I couldn't sleep. So I went for sleeping, I stay up, um, pain, pain medicine here. And it's actually not all because I don't have my antibiotics and pain medicine here. I didn't bring the, put the pain medicines here. I'll take pain medicine for the joint pains. I'll take, I'll take um, acid reflux medicine, high blood pressure. Three, three blood sugar medicine, one for the water and the other two. And just, I'll take care of myself through medicine. And I'll feel good. I'll get some sleep because I'll take it sleep and sleep. But the thing what really hit me hard is when I wanted some surgery. I told me I couldn't do the surgery. Because of all these things, my pressure too high, my sugar too high, and so on. And I can't take that chance with the surgery. But I had some some hernias that was bothering me in my stomach and so on. And if you see my, I did, I did a video on that, you would see that there. But after time, I really want to take care of them. Especially one of my neighbor. My, 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 my fat in my neighbor would stick out through them and it hurts so bad, I push it back in. And I keep going to my doctor with my eyes being cloudy. And they tell me eat carrots, eat this, drink carrot juice. I mean, I try and everything. I drink homemade remedy. I, so I start eating from the glycemic index. You know, I, I try all different kind of thing and nothing was working. I lose a little bit of weight. I come down to 225 and I just still wasn't happy. And about four years ago, no, not exact, but somewhere around that vicinity, three to four years ago, I started 
deciding I'm going to figure this thing out. So I started studying really, really hard my body, studying blood sugar, studying blood pressure, studying chemical reactions of food, studying different types of food, vegetables, processed food, why they're bad, why they're good, what food contain, just understanding my body better. I went out of my way to do that. Watch lots of videos on YouTube, read a lot of material, you know, on the internet, bought books. And I came up with something, which is what I'm doing the videos on. I discovered around the my part that is the, way, is the combination of food I'm eating is what creating my problems. It's not the food itself, but the combination of the food, how I'm eating it. Because from the glycemic index, I know the food that's good to eat. But when I eat them randomly, I was still having problems. I wasn't losing no weight. My blood sugar wasn't going nowhere. My blood pressure. I have all the more, I have everything here, monitors to monitor everything. And I was eating from the glycemic index, eating low glycemic foods. And I still was struggling. Then I decided to start testing myself. And I joined Lovingo, which is the, the brand of this um, product here. And they decided they'll give me everything free. So I didn't have to buy the machine. I didn't have to buy the strips, which is expensive. And I get it through my insurance company. And with this program, I was able to get the supplies I need to test myself free. So now I don't have any excuse not to test. So I started eating and testing my food. And through that process of eating and testing the glycemic in the food I'm eating, I realized not because two food is good for me, that is actually good for my blood sugar when I eat them together. So the goal I decided to do is I'm going to start to combine these and test them and eliminate and figure out which one could be bad, which one could be good, how can I eat this one with this other one and so on. And I started doing my videos based on that. So over time doing the videos and testing myself, I realized putting my combination together correctly is what started helping me. So the first thing I did was got rid of all the sodas. First I stopped drinking sodas. And that was really hard because I as a man used to have, when I go to start buying 12 bottles, I love my soda. The next thing was sorrel and morbi and ginger beer. These are three drinks, traditional drinks from Trinidad. And I love them. When you're making sorrel, it's a hibiscus plant flower. When you're making that, I mean, it's a half a bag of sugar you're gonna put in there to get it, get it sweetened and tasted. It takes a lot of sugar because it has a bit, it has a, a, a rash taste, but it's very beautifully tasting once it's sweetened. But it takes a lot of sugar to get it sweet. Why if you say, oh, she never ate them, drink them things. She thought it's too much sugar, and she wasn't any plant. She doesn't like it. And Moby, I love it. It's a bark from a tree. I used to boil it and it's bitter. But to get it tasting the way you want, you gotta put another half bag of sugar in that for like a for like a five gallon jar. A lot of sugar. And ginger beer, they made of ginger, and you know how ginger tastes when you boil that. And it has no taste except it's burning your mouth. But when you put sugar in it, a lot of sugar in it, it tastes beautiful. So I had that I had that constantly have that in my house. Plus the sodas, plus cranberry juice, plus orange juice. I just love my juices and everything. And my fridge was packed with it. The next thing I had was I have cupboards and cupboards of Cajun seasonings and garlic powders and all kinds of seasonings. I love to cook. And I would hit the food. I'm going to give you an example. A typical stew dish for me would I include salt, black pepper, Worcestershire sauce. Soy sauce, some other oyster sauce, and garlic sauce, a little Cajun sauce, small amount, just balancing and getting flavor. You talk about flavor? Woo! Mm, flavor. But my head wasn't getting no better with that. Then I learned there's 50 different words for sugar. 50 different words for sugar. And some and some products have this have the different words listed like 10, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. And sugar once. So you think your name once is sugar. The author is sugar. Glucose, sucrose, 
dextrose is all sugar. So then, I didn't want to drop this stuff, so I started drinking diet stuff. Now, the diet wasn't spiking my blood sugar. But I started reading more about it and realized the chemicals that stuff make with is terrible for my body. And also, the diet takes up, doesn't spike my sugar, but it goes straight to my kidney, like alcohol does, and cause fatty, go to my liver, I mean, and cause fatty liver. So I learned, I say, oh my God, I stopped that. So I dropped that. So I started dropping things. So I dropped all the soda, I dropped all the juices, I dropped my sorrel, my ginger beer, my morbi, I had to drop those. <laughs> I had to drop those, I missed those. I dropped them. Once I dropped those things, I would say within a week or two, I lost like 12 pounds. Just like that. Lost 12 pounds. Then I start dropping the seasonings. I dropped the seasonings. I lost another five or six pounds. I think I lost about almost 20 pounds just dropping these, these things. Going to, doctor was very happy I was losing weight. But with, I dropped the weight, but I was still having the sugar, the high blood sugar and the high blood pressure and the acid reflux. But the reflux was getting better because it looked like the, the seasoning, the chemicals and the powder was causing it and the sweet juices. So that started getting better. So I dropped off of that. Doctor said, you come off of that now because I'm going to hurt your bones. The ICU's, um, I forget the name of the pills, but he said that would damage your bones over time. So I, I stopped taking that because I dropped all those things. He said, I can take that, stop taking that. And I hadn't really had acid, acid reflux since then. So now I had to work on my blood sugar, my blood pressure. And that's where the combination comes in. When I started working the combinations, and I started getting, I could see my blood sugar spike when I, when I eat one combination. When I take away something and I put something different, I see blood sugar drop a little bit. So I started experimenting and doing the videos. And over time, I realized if I do it right, if I do the right combination, no problem. My blood sugar is fine. So I started reducing my blood sugar. And for the first time, I started to see blood sugar in the readings of 115, 110, 108. And I keep, as I continue, I see 85, 89, 90. When I eat after an hour and a half, I'm looking at, say, under 140, 150, no longer 200 and so on. I couldn't sustain. When I wake up in the morning, I used to be 146, 144 every day. My fasting blood sugar was terrible. But I started to see the improvement and I started continuing. And I would say for the last two or three years, I've been able to maintain my blood sugar down to under 110, under 100 easy every day. I spike up as I eat with no enough, I'm back to normal. And I fast and I stay good all day. And I brought fasting in into my diet because I learned I should fast. So I don't eat until I'm hungry again. And until my blood sugar is under under 110, I don't eat anything again. So if I'm hungry, I still test my blood sugar. The next thing I learn again is my exercising. I can't run and stuff, so I walk a lot. And I walk, was walking too fast. I learned when I walk fast, I build, I my body develop Corazon, and Corazon con convert to insulin, which caused me not to lose no weight. So I learned to walk at a better pace where I can talk and chat while I'm walking and walk longer, walk an hour, hour and a half. And I start to see weight loss again. And with all of this, I learned one thing. Insulin, insulin is what created my problem. Once I could control my insulin by the way I combine my food, I realized my blood sugar is going down, dropping. And once I get my blood sugar under control, my blood pressure started to get under control. And not only that, my cloudiness in my eyes went away. All the pain in my joints started going away. And then I take no corazon shots again. One carnival I went to over three years ago, and I couldn't even walk. My knees was in pain. I went to carnival parties and I barely made it in those parties. But now there's no more knee pains. There's no more shoulder pains. There's no more back pains. There's no cloudy eyes. There's no acid reflux. There's a good stable blood sugar. 
there's a good stable high blood pressure. So my pressure is stable. So everything stabilized with my with my combination eating. By getting rid of all the sugars, all this all the seasonings, adding fasting to my diet, and eating proper combinations of food, well balanced food, and learning more about my food and how each food affects me when I combine them. I'm healthy. And it's my fourth year. Healthy. Or at least my third year healthy. Look, my PSA is good. My all my bloods are good. My urine is good. All these nitrates and my cholesterol here. My doctor said, excellent. And my cholesterol, cholesterol. My cholesterol is good. My thyroids are good. My glucose is my metabolic glucose is great. My panel burn is great. I mean, a lot of stuff here. My kidney is good. My liver is good. My pancreas is good. I mean, everything is beautiful. I know this is going to happen as long as I continue. So now let me show you what my medicine looks like. So now I still take medicine because Doc hadn't put me up 100 percent over everything. Because he want to make sure I could continue eating the way before. The moment I stop eating like this, the moment I stop my combination, it's going to go back up. So now I will show you what I'm right now. So right now, I do this. That's it. A half of this tablet. Not even my whole one, a half. And this. Blood sugar, pressure. But half. That's it. And I can, I, I can get rid of these, you know. He said, if you could guarantee me, you could do this another year. We, we take this off. And he said, blood doing is a good thing. You can help a lot of people. So I'm down to almost zero. Healthy. Feeling good. I'm 174. When I started my combination eating and getting rid of stuff, I was 225. Before that, I was 240, 245. And I started you know, using the glycemic index. But that bring me down by 15 pounds, I get stuck. But with my combination eating and balancing and measuring my, my blood sugar, and measuring my blood sugar before and after me, and understanding how I eat and what my food does to my body, it made the biggest change. The drop was drastic. And getting rid of all. So when I go in the grocery store now, I don't go to the processed food section anymore. I go strictly to the vegetable section and the meat section because I like meat. I eat eggs. I don't drink milk, but I eat eggs and I eat my vegetables. That's the only place I go now to shop. And then I go to clothes and shop for clothes. You know, that's it. I don't go in the processed section anymore. The only processed food in a can I eat is sardines because I like sardines and I can't get sardines anyway. And I buy the sardines in water. Right? And I think it's, that's still pretty good. Just like some um, food like olives and so on in, in that water, that, that, that fermented stuff is kind of good for you too. So every night, you know, I can eat those. But that's it. And if I do eat peanut butter, which is another thing, I eat the natural peanut butter, which the ingredients is peanut butter. That's it. And I don't do it often, but when I do, I do that. So that's the only process I eat in. Nothing else. And the pain-free. 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 Feeling healthy feeling good and so happy to go to my doctor every year and get more of these reports. Okay. So this is my, what I'm reporting, my clean bill of health. My clean bill of health. Now, I might not have to tell you everything because I didn't write down what I'm going to say. I just call my camera and just say what I feel like saying. So if I miss anything, I may be in another video I can mention some other things, right? But for now, that's what I'm feeling good about. That's what I've done. And I'm sharing with you. So if you have any issues with diabetes, high blood pressure, acid reflux, pain, joint pains, you can get rid of them naturally. You don't have to take a and shot like I used to take, steroid shots. You don't need that. You don't need to be a no special drinking a lot of different things, vinegar and all kind of things to get rid of a stomach. Look at my stomach, it's flat. It used to be out here. Flat, flat, flat. I didn't do them. Th I just eat proper food. Just eat proper food. I have like, look, I, I want to do a video on my clothes, my closet and see how much of my closet I can't even use. I want to do a video, you'll see my closet. I'll buy new clothes. 
right? So I don't go on all these fine, all these, I know how to get them off because I used to take colon cleanser. I used to take all this other stuff trying to lose my belly, right? I don't take that stuff no more. And that stuff wasn't really working as far as losing my belly. But eating my combination food the way I do, that's working. You can see it. It's working. 174, pain free, healthy. I really enjoy sharing this. I really, really enjoy sharing this. And if you don't have diabetes, if you don't have diabetes, and you don't want to get diabetes, start doing this now. Because as a man, you have to take some pills for high blood pressure and high thing that doesn't affect your body well. And you wouldn't like that. So to avoid that, control your insulin, control diabetes. I promise it will control high blood pressure also. It is the foundation I found of my body. In my body, I'm not scientific. I'm talking about me, my body. It has been the foundation of all my other sicknesses. Once I get my insulin under control, I notice everything else was under control. Everything. Was under control. My doctor told me for the third time, man, you're going to live past 100. You're so healthy now. Not that I was really, really sick in the past, but I was unhealthy. I wasn't physically sick, but I was unhealthy because these things are unseen. You don't see insulin. You don't see blood sugar. You don't see pressure. You don't even feel them. They're just there. But you feel, you see, you feel the side effects of them. You feel the pain. Get up in the morning. You can't sleep in the night. You gotta take sleeping pills like I used to do. You know, when you wake up, you wake up in pain, you can't get out of bed. You can feel it. And you think you have arthritis, you think you have this. You don't know that. Insulin. Insulin causes you to gain weight also. So you can control that and control your weight. So my whole program I do for myself, it does this. And I'm gonna end with this. Control my blood sugar. Control all my pain, control my weight, control my acid reflux. Clear my eyes, give me a smile. Thank you, give me a smile. All right, so I'm going to stop because the video is getting long. And I just want to stop talking, all right? But I'm sharing. I hope you all enjoy. And I'll come back and see. I have some more cooking videos I just did, so I'm going to push those out. I'm back on track after my surgery, so... I'm, I'm back in track now and I'm feeling good and doing good. And, and again, you saw my video, my surgery I had wasn't anything because I was sick. It just hurt as I had for years and years and years and just didn't take care of them and just decided, hey, I'm going to take care of them now that I'm healthy. I'll just take care of them. And I'm good. All right. So blessings, blessings, blessings. Love you guys. Take care. And, um, you know, I don't have to like beg or think to share. You decide. If you think this can help someone, share it. If you think, if you like what I'm doing, like it. Subscribe and, you know, let's have fun. Because I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it. And I really want to help as much people I can help. And if you spread it, you can help more people too. All right? And I appreciate all the help you've given me so far. I appreciate all the support so far. I appreciate all the likes, all the subscribe. I appreciate everything, all the sharing. Because every time somebody else tells me thank you, I appreciate it. My doctor said, you're doing a good thing, brother. You're helping other people if people listen to what you have to say. All right? So thank you. Thank you. Because you know you can't stop. Blessings. Bye. <laughs>